Hello guys and welcome to my 20th video tutorial on XHTML and CSS and in this video I will teach you how to use an external CSS uh, file okay so let's go to page1.html open that with notepad and let's delete all the, um, the code from the last video okay and let's make a paragraph <coughs> in the body section hello how are you or let's let's do um Let's do some some div stuff. Okay, let's do a div and the div. Let's do my first div and my second. my second div okay now <coughs> let's um, let's give it an ID to each div so div ID equals um, first and div ID equals second right okay so let's go to CSS now and write um, div first and let's type a background color background oops background color background color let's give it a red Now, let's give it a border, border of one pixel, solid, and let's give it a black color, okay? Now, mm, let's give a width, width. Okay. Width of um, hundred pixels, and we have to give uh, height also. Height of um, thirty pixels, and now. I want to give position absolute. We didn't talk about this uh, attribute or property position, okay? But we will in after uh, after this video or in the next one. I will teach you about this, okay? Just type for now position absolute and. <coughs> let's give um, from top let's give it a 50 pixel from top the to position so we are positioning the the diffs okay I'm going to position this div um, 50 pixels from top and 100 100 sorry from left hundred pixels from left so save let's see our um, let's see how the div is in the page so let's open this in Chrome and there it is okay that uh, 
that box this is the div called first okay so let's give another um, let's give some properties to div second we can give it we can copy this copy and then paste it here and call this second and let's change the position let's give a 50 100 pixels 150 pixels from top now let's open this refresh okay uh, <coughs> now we have div 1 div uh, div first and div second okay and um, what I want to to teach you in this video is that we have um, we have here until now we used the um, the CSS code inside uh, these tags okay and in the same file that um, we do the code of our web page in this case page one dot html okay but i want to take this code out of this file and put it in um, a unique css file okay so a unique css file we have to open let's open a unique css file and click here new and copy paste copy this paste it in the new and you can uh, delete the style tags okay we don't need those okay and now save as and we have to save it as a CSS file and we do that with uh, let's type style you can give it this is the name you're gonna give to the file you can give it whatever name you want and then dot CSS okay and it's inside our portal and next to our other files save it and you see that the colors okay changed the colors of the the code so now it recognizes that this is CSS code okay and this is how we use an external file of CSS. Okay, so we can delete in our um, web page file. We can delete all this. Okay, save it. But I still have to to put inside the head tags. I have to type uh, a line of code to, to um, that says we have to go to this external CSS file and get the the code okay the CSS code so I do that like this link rel equals style sheet type equals text CSS now h ref and here I'm gonna type the name of the file that has the CSS code all the CSS code which is style.css okay style.css and uh, that's it okay so now this is the link this is the um, the line of code you have to, um, if you use a uh, an external uh, CSS file, you always have to use this line of code inside the head tags. Okay, guys. Okay. Um, <coughs> this is all for this video. If you have any questions, just send me a message or um, post your uh, questions in the comment uh, section below. Okay, guys. See you guys later and don't forget to subscribe. See you.